Hi everyone. Specialize or generalize? That is what we'll be discussing today. As a new tutor, you might be wondering, should I start teaching one subject or three subjects? If I teach one subject and then be very good at it, I'll be able to charge a higher rate. On the other hand, if I teach three subjects, I can, I'll be able to charge for three subjects. So probably I'll be able to earn more money. So shall we specialize in one subject or generalize? teach all subjects. That's what we'll be discussing today and I'll be looking at two case study. The first one is Grab and then the second one is AirAsia. Let's go! To specialize or to generalize? Let's talk about it, shall we? So, the first case study is Grab. I think most of you from uh, Southeast Asia may be familiar with Grab. For our international audience, Grab is a multinational ride-hailing company based in Queenstown, Singapore. Anthony Tan, who is the youngest of the three brothers of the family that operates Tan Chong Motors, the authorized distributor for Nissan cars in Malaysia. Started was Anthony Tan, he was at home, and then uh, one day, his friend came over to his place. And he was complaining about his horrifying experience taking a taxi. He was complaining about how he was being overcharged and then the driver was taking a long route or a longer route to his place. So that got Anthony Tan thinking. And then in, so in June 2012, Anthony Tan and his classmate devised a business plan for a mobile app. So what happens is that he actually negotiated with various taxi companies. At the end, one taxi company with a fleet of only 30 taxis decided to take him in. So that was how it all started. By he expanded the business. So Grab Taxi start to serve to Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and then to Vietnam and Jakarta. And then they started a affiliation with Thai Air Asia. And then they have flights to Singapore, Indonesia, Macau, mainland China, Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Brunei, Myanmar, India, and on 27 of September 2008, the company announced 106 new routes to be added to its list of 60. So as you can see, they were doing really well and profiting. So just to recap, we noticed that when he started, he focused on only one thing, which is to expand his business, to expand it in other countries. So, then he started to think, probably I can expand my business, not just to include taxis, but also cars. So then, he released the app Grab Car, and then later, Grab Bike, Grab Hitch, Grab Express, Grab Pet, Grab Care, and then he started to sell everything. He started to be in the delivery business and then further on to the financial services. So what we noticed with Grab, they started with only one thing. They'd be very good at it. As time goes by, they start to sell everything. Generalize. Case study number two, Air Asia. For our international audience, Air Asia Berhad is a Malaysian low-cost airline headquartered near Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It is the largest airline in Malaysia by fleet size and destinations. Air Asia Group operates scheduled domestic and international flights to more than 165 international 
destinations spanning 25 countries. So, how it all began? Air Asia was established in 1993 and began operations on 18 of November 1996. It was founded by a government-owned conglomerate, D. On 8 of September 2001, the heavily indebted airline was bought by former Time Warner executive Sri Tony Fernandez and Datuk Kamarudin Maranun's company Tune Air Sendirian Berhad for the token sum of one ringgit with 40 million worth of debts. You can see this is how it started and what happened? In within a year, they were able to turn the whole thing around. It was they were able to profit in a year. Imagine that. Managed to undercut the former monopoly operator Malaysian Airlines with, with their promotional low cost fee of only one ringgit. So notice that they concentrate in one thing, be very good at it, and then what happens? They start to cover not just domestic flights around Malaysia, and then they expanded their business internationally. And then they started Thai Air Asia affiliate, and then they have flights to Singapore, Indonesia, Macau, mainland China, Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Brunei, Myanmar, India. In on, and on 27 of September 2008, the company announced 106 new routes to be added to its list of 60. Notice with AirAsia, they specialize in one thing, they become very good in one thing, and then guess what? Then they start thinking, hmm, instead of just taking the airline market, what can we do to expand our business? So then what happened? Then they generalized. In 2019, they opened their first restaurant in KL. And then what happened? They start to partner up with different businesses and beverage industry and, uh, and different companies. They are, talk they are going to different companies. Hey, how are you? Let's be friends. Let's make business together daily. And then they start to sell daily essentials, clothing line, bus transfer. They partner up with internet service providers. They become friends and then they make business together. And then they partner up with theme parks, tourist attractions, fitness centers, hotels, holiday packages, and so forth. So you notice they are like selling everything. As we can see with Grab and Air Asia, they started to be very good and focused on one thing. They specialize in it, and as time goes by, it expanded, and then they start to generalize. They start to be selling everything in order to gain more and more profit. So now, I will be sharing with you with my experience. When I started uh, tutoring, I actually started with, I think, one subject. And uh, I was teaching that subject and then I started to gain confidence. I become better at the subject. And then as time goes by, I started to teach two subjects. And then I learned three subjects and then I can remember those times that I have to lose quite a number of clients because that time I was specializing in only one or two subjects but the customer or the client said to me that they wanted, they wanted me to do more subjects. Can you cover three subjects? And because of that, they went to another tutor. So as time goes by, I subjects and now I was able to cover more subjects and then when parents came up to me and say, can you teach three subjects for my child? I say, no problem. Can you teach four subjects? No problem. Can you teach these three, these two subjects? No problem. I was able to cover many subjects. So hopefully this video will help you to decide whether to specialize or to generalize.